welcome to the Water Cube. Thank um, you. Can you quickly just introduce yourself? Sure. I'm um, Julia Kent with Water for People. Okay. I'm based in Uganda. Great. Uh, water for People is a, an American NGO that works in 11 countries, water, sanitation, and hygiene. Okay, great. And um, can you tell me a little bit about the work that you're doing in Uganda? I sure. Mean, what's your focus? So I am focused on our sanitation as a business program. I'm based in Uganda, but it's a global program. Uh, we're operating in about six different countries, working uh, to encourage the private sector to get involved in sanitation. Okay. And uh, what does that mean in concrete terms in, in Uganda? Right. So um, in Uganda and in a lot of other places, sort of the traditional approach to providing sanitation has been building a lot of latrines for people. And you know, I think a lot of organizations, including ours, have found that that approach is very sustainable over the long term. And so as sort of a new approach to sustainable sanitation, we're hoping that by involving the private sector uh, to make it a for-profit model, that is really the most uh, sustainable way to ensure continued access to uh, safe latrines over a long period of time. And not just the construction of new latrines for people, but also maintenance, ongoing service of existing facilities. Okay, and, and do you have existing examples? Yeah, so um, we've actually done some of this work in Malawi, and we're expanding now in uh, Uganda and Rwanda. And what we're doing is working with um, business development service providers. So these are local for-profit companies that provide marketing, and uh, research, analysis, uh, business planning support. And they, you know, these these companies exist, and they've been helping lots of other emerging businesses. Um, some of the big examples are probably in agriculture, beverage companies, cell phones, you know, there's okay. a lot of... But this seems more challenging because, I mean, it's an area where, you know, you have to ask the question, I mean, are there kind of established models or do right. people really know what the service is? Right. And so in that sense, I mean, did you find existing uh, businesses? Or? There are lots of existing sanitation businesses out there, but they're extremely small. Um, in many places, like pit emptying businesses, for example, are technically illegal, um, but there, there is manual pit emptying even that happens in, in a number of places. Um, it's illegal, it's not safe, and it's quite expensive uh, for some people. So we're really looking to uh, formalize some businesses, you know, help some of these um, uh, entrepreneurs really develop, give them uh, maybe franchising options. Yeah financing options to expand services. Well, you mentioned earlier that you have a diversity of people you're working with. I mean, people working in other sectors who have a business and thinking about going into sanitation, right. people who've got really small businesses in sanitation, like you said, small scale. I mean, give me an idea of the diversity. I mean, who are some of the people? Right. So, I mean, some of the, you know, we, we've got a, a few entrepreneurs who are trying, um, you know, the gulper technology and the, in a few different cities and some of these um, guys used to be masons you know they built a lot of things including latrines when you know people were willing to pay for them and they've actually converted over to doing pit emptying using the gulper technology full-time um, they're still kind of one-man operations okay. and so we're looking at how we can kind of bring those guys further up the chain uh, you know improve their their business models and improve their their profit profitability and then sort of the overall service model hmm. uh, going on. And one example of a business which is not in sanitation but interested in kind of crossing over? Well, we've had a lot of interest so far. I mean, the, the business development service providers we're working with um, in Uganda, for example, a group called Captiva Communications, they're really a marketing company in Uganda, um, but we've brought them on board because they have great business development expertise in Uganda. They don't have any sanitation experience, but they have a lot of experience getting other businesses up and running. Right. So we're working with them uh, on, to improve their capacity on the sanitation side, and they're helping us understand the business environment better in Uganda. So kind of the, the combination of, of resources there we're hoping is going to draw out a lot of um, potential entrepreneurs. And we're advertising now uh, and, and putting out uh, calls for sort of sanitation forums to get entrepreneurs interested okay. in working with us there. Great. Thanks a lot, Julie. Thank you.